This is our dolly system for filling Hyper Adobe bags. We're not the first ones to come up with this. We've seen it in a few different places, but haven't really found a place where anyone sort of actually explained all the different pieces that they needed to buy and how they built it. So we're gonna show you real quick how we put ours together and then hopefully that'll help you out. So the first piece of this is gonna be the bucket, right? What we did is we took two five gallon buckets, we cut the bottom out of one and then went a little further down on the next one and just cut it all the way around and then we slid them into each other and just duct tape them. So nothing super fancy. Oh hi, would you like to build your own Hyper Adobe Dolly system? Check out our blog links in the description below. <laughs> and then we needed a way to sort of hook or mount the bucket to the dolly. So this took us about four times because we have to get it all at the right angle. But the idea is you start with a piece of wood inside. It can't be very big because it's a curved surface. And then you mount a larger piece to it so you screw into this and then you can go get some brackets from the store mount the brackets to this piece of wood and then we also recommend a spacer so we used a one by six here a two by two and then i guess it's part of a one by six inside there yeah you could do it with whatever but and we just felt like this would give it enough strength and like it's really strong it's not going to go anywhere the spacer is important because when you when you hook this on your dolly you don't want it, you're going to pull your bag up around the bottom and you're going to bunch it up here and you want to make sure that you're creating space so that the bag doesn't get caught on anything, right? Look at all that space. Let's talk about the dolly real quick. The tricky part is you need to find a dolly that you can actually move the wheels. You can see here sitting on the bag, we move the wheels to the inside. And if they were on the outside where they were originally, they would be going over the bag and then you mess your bags up and it just wouldn't work. So you have to move the wheels to the inside and finding a dolly that actually allows you to do that is hard. You have to find one where sort of the little axle with the rod goes all the way through and you have cotter pins that you can pull out. So what we did is we, we pulled those cotter pins out pulled the bar out and then we use conduit to space everything out. So we ended up putting one, two, three, four, five pieces of conduit in there, and then a big washer, and then you put your cotter pin back through to kind of hold it all in place. The next step is you need to create sort of a triangle on the front of it so that your bags don't go straight down. It's gonna depend on your dolly a little bit. We had this nice metal strip that ran right through the middle. And so we took some plywood and we screwed through this and bolted this piece of wood directly to this metal piece. Now on the other side of that, this was the tricky part is you, you need this sort of angled piece, right? We would actually prefer ours to come out a little more and we may work on figuring that out. But for now, we took another piece of plywood. We put a small piece of plywood down here to kind of catch on the lip. It, it's actually set in just a little bit. And then we just screwed this piece into this piece. Wait a minute, wait a minute. What my dad meant to say was he screwed the front piece of plywood to the back piece of plywood using screws. And he attached the back piece of plywood with two bolts. Good job, dad. That creates an angle so that as you fill the bags, it doesn't get folded and bunched up. And so we'll show you kind of the process for how we use it now. But this makes it so much faster because now one person can scoop the dirt out, dump it in the bucket, and that can just stay there. And you fill it up and then you slowly pull it out and form it and then tamp it. And like one person can do that as opposed to two or three. So obviously the dolly is really only needed when you're above grade. When we were still below in our rubble trench, somebody just stood here and held the bucket the whole time. Oh, one other thing. When you take your bag and you pull it over the edge and you scrunch it up here, then we just use like an exercise band and, and put it around like this. And so that allows the bag to let out 
as needed, right? So that way it's not just sliding off all the time. As you fill it up, it'll slowly kind of let out and that makes the process a lot easier too. Pro tip, putting duct tape over the holes where your the handle used to be <laughs> prevents the bags from ripping. <laughs> so we're at the point now where we're using cleats because we have a, a permanent door frame in. So we've just built these with plywood and two by fours and nails and so it's screwed in here it's nailed in here and then it's got nails coming up so when the bag sits on top of it it'll lock it in place so the first step for running your new bag is you need to measure we just take this tape measure kind of put it in the middle of the bag so that's about 25 feet so we're going to add two or three feet extra to that because we need more on the ends to wrap it and fold it underneath. The next step of the process is to seal the bag on one end. We've seen some people that just twist it and fold it underneath, and that works pretty well. But with these sort of open style bags, we use rebar ties around the end, and then we actually pull the bag inside out so that that rebar tie isn't sticking out on the end. bag inside out, we take the other end and we start to thread it over the bucket. So we pull it down to this area here and then we just start bunching it up. And it helps to have somebody holding it up here and keeping it untwisted and sort of higher so that you don't get caught on stuff. Because because of these this style bag, it can get caught and rip if you're not careful. Hey Dad, how big are these bags? These are 16 inch Hyper Adobe bags and they're UV treated, that's why they're red. So they can stay out in the sun a little bit longer and not break down, which is nice. And as you can see, they fit pretty perfectly over a five gallon bucket opener. Hey Dad, how many feet of bags can you fit on that bucket? We fit up to 46 feet worth of bag on this so far. And that was getting close to the limit, but you could probably go a little further if you wanted. Hey Dad, why did you choose continuous bags over individual bags? The benefit of having these on a roll as opposed to individual bags is that you can create long single bags like this that will run an entire course. So it adds a lot more stability to the building. Are we there yet? So again, you want to take something uh, with some traction on it, something that's probably a little bit stretchy and put it over here. We tried bungee cords. Those don't work because of the hooks. The hooks get caught in the mesh and then rip it. I have seen people uh, put like conduit around it with something like that inside, but but this is just a little exercise band that we put a knot in and it works pretty well. So a lot of people are wondering where we get our dirt from. So we get it from right here. We picked a spot here on the property and have had a few friends come by with tractors and help us dig this out and then transport 
transport it over closer to where we're actually building. It turns out that our soil actually has the right amount of clay in it. So even though it's kind of poofy and, and loamy looking, when you add water to it, it gets really, uh, really hard. The way that we're mixing this material is we're taking 12 parts of our native soil, which we've sifted through quarter inch hardware cloth, and then one part Portland cement, and then water, and we mix that all in the cement mixer until you get something like this. And then the consistency should be something where you can compress it and it will hold its shape. So you wanna get this up here, and you don't wanna get it right up to where you're gonna start um, because you're gonna to have to do a little work to get that end flush, but go ahead and get it kinda of close and then get ready to start putting your dirt in. You're going right over a huge rock. Go the other way. No, no other way. Other way. There. So we're just going to start shoving it in here and then I'll show you how we get it going. So I don't like to get it too full because we've got to start our edge here. And if you make it too full then it's too heavy to sort of maneuver around. So you want to kind of get it flat on the end. Then you're gonna swing it up into place. It looks a little weird right now, so I'm probably gonna pull it back up a little, get this back closer, and then we can really start moving quickly. So what I've found is that the best way that this works is if you fill this up all the way. Um, you want all that pressure so that as you pull it out, it lets itself out evenly. Now it's time to start pulling it back. And you want to make sure that you're not going too far over on each side, right? This is going to get a lot more difficult when we get up higher. We'll figure that out then. I'll go ahead and just take my hand and start getting it the right width everywhere. Like right now, it's way far in over on this side, so I gotta really push it out there. And then we can start tamping it. Looking at me, boy. Yeah, looking at me, girl. Yeah, looking at me. Keeping that love, but you're looking at me. By filling that up all the way and like really expanding the bag as much as possible, it makes these bags a lot more uniform so you don't end up with dips in them or chunks kind of missing out of them. So another thing that we're doing with these is taking a two by four and trying to even up the sides as well so that when, when we go to cob, we don't have so many, so many sections missing out of the wall that we need to fill with. So now we're just gonna put it on time lapse and we're gonna go all the way around to the end and get it done. Looks like we cut our bag too short. Not sure what happened, I guess we measured wrong. So not a huge deal, it's not great. But if you do happen to do that, the nice thing about these bags is that you can fill it in with another bag. So I've got a new one here and we're just gonna go all the way across to the other side of the circle so that the walls are interlocking when they connect to each other. As you can see, 
The bags are interlocking like Legos to help our building not fall over. another cold front coming in so it's possibly rain and snow and so we're gonna try to get one more course up before the end of the week yeah we're trying to do it early so that hopefully we can get it up early enough so it will dry out before the rains come with you the sun is shining 24 7 because when we're together it feels like we're in heaven if it will get dark you'll be my million stars I know I can lean on you Oh, you catch me like a leaf falling from a tree If I be a shooting star, you make a wish No, I don't fake this kind of feeling, never felt so real My heart is on the table cause you're my everything I do, 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 I wanna marry you Cause when you're around, I know it's true ooh, ooh, The way you make me feel is so good, baby So good, so good Every single day we spend a part, I wanna be with you Baby, take my hand, hold it tight just like you do Feel so good, so good When I wake up in the morning and I see your face Become blind by a dazzling grace What a beautiful feeling to be close to you There's nothing else I wanna do Ooh, and from the fields of flowers you chose to pick me You're spreading sugar on my misery And I don't fake this kind of feeling Never felt so real My heart is on the table cause you're my everything I do We only got half of it done. Yeah. But that's better than nothing, right? It's true. True. True story, babe. So, yeah, I mean, hopefully this helped you. If you're gonna do a hyper adobe building, kind of see how you do the bags and how you make a dolly system. And maybe realize that it's a lot more work than maybe you anticipated. A lot more work, like an extraordinary <laughs> amount of work. But it will be worth it in the end when you have a finished building. Yeah, it's looking good. Like I. It's a lot of work, but I think it'll be worth it. It is a lot of work. <laughs> How, How many, many times, times can we say, we gonna say it's a lot it's of, a lot of work. work? It's like we're <sighs> As much as we would like to be doing this all day, we have other stuff to do. Yeah. We've got kids to school and jobs to do and videos to make. Yes. So, yeah. We will catch you on the next one. On the flip side. Don't ever say that. <laughs> See you next week.